Hey, 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 family. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing today? Now, y'all know we're going to be going live tonight over there on the Patreon. Okay, today is Saturday, uh, September the 7th. We'll be over there at 8 o'clock. Okay, and if you miss this live today, you can always come back. You know, we're going to be doing some lives over there on other things until the show comes back on. Okay. So go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon account. You'll find the Patreon uh, link in the description of any one of my videos. Now today we are going to be talking about Dusty, but before I get started, child, let me go ahead and turn my little relaxing uh, jazz music down. Okay. Ooh, child, I'm just going to play it a little bit in the background because I just know Watching this clip is going to disturb me, child. Mm -hmm. I just know. Anyway, mainly because I saw it, right? But I clicked it off real quickly because I wanted to come back. And I wanted to kind of watch it with you all from beginning to end. Now, I got a couple of clips that were sent to me. And we are going to be talking about it. Now, from what I saw, okay, and what was sent to me, because, you know, you family members, you know, all my queens out here be sending me information about what's going on with these dust mites on the show, like Bust Down Dustyana. And so, as always, she's been desperate and pressed, okay, when it comes to the situation with Moses and Sonny. If it ain't male child, it's Moses and Sonny. But let's go on here and watch this clip so that I can give my opinion. And I want you to go in the chat. Or not in the chat. Go down in the comments below and give your opinion on what you see as well. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Together in August, we exchanged numbers then. And then when did y'all like get into a relationship? When was it official? I want to say we really. It only took ninety days for y'all to be in an official relationship. For us to get married. No, in a relationship. Now, Dusty asked Sunny, okay, about them being in a relationship. Sunny said it only took 90 days, right? Isn't that what she said? Okay. Dusty's like, no, to officially be in a relationship. Now, Sunny said what she said, Dust Mike. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know what it is that you want her to say. But um, let's watch this again. Hold on for a second. And y'all were together in August. We exchanged numbers then. And then when did y'all like get into a relationship? When was it official? I want to say we really, it only took 90 days. For y'all to be in an official relationship? For us to get married. No, in a relationship. It took, we were together for 90 so August, days. So it took 90 days, okay? Relationship, marriage, all that, 90 days. And I feel like Dusty feels like that. I just can't comprehend what you're saying, Sonny, because I've been running around with this man, okay, spinning blocks and all that and popping willies, you know, hanging from ceilings and all that for 15 years. And so my mind will not let me just understand that you are saying 90 days. What you mean 90 days when I've had plenty of 90 days, okay, plus, 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 plus times, you know, she's just not understanding because she chooses not to understand because, you know, Moses was just spinning blocks with her, popping up, disappearing. You know how they do when they're dealing with old thought bots, okay? And so she's just, you know, trying to get, make Sonny look bad and, and make it seem like, no, girl, not 90 days. I know you didn't say 90 days that y'all started talking in 90 days and he married you in 90 days. Like, what? What are you talking about? That can't be possible. What y'all think about that, okay? Why do you think? That Dustyana acts like she does not understand when Sonny says 90 days as if Sonny is speaking a foreign language. But let's go on. Hey, we got married. I know I love you too. We weren't um, in a relationship. We got a, we exchanged numbers. So hey, that's on that's on uh, good morning, baby. Love you. What they got to do with September. me? September. I'm not Moses. Good morning, love. <laughs> oh, so Dustyana is reading these text messages, but what you know I notice is that why don't we see the messages? Bravo, I mean Bravo, not Bravo. Uh Carlos, why don't you show us the messages? You know how you all zoom in on messages like that message that looked like that Tisha sent Melody a text when it didn't even have Melody's name on it. And one of my uh subscribers pointed out to me where the message also didn't look like it was red or something you know she said y'all know what i'm talking about right so anyway we want to see the message okay not that it matters not that it matters because it doesn't at the end of the day they are married now okay 
However, we know that Dustiana lies a lot, okay? And so she could be reading any damn thing. She could have some scribble messages over there. You know, that law was pushing numbers and put and sent to her on the phone. How the hell do we know? Okay. Like I said, not doesn't not that it matters, but you're reading all these messages, and normally they will flash the message up on the screen. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all something. If you don't know, Sunny did say over there on Captain Venus page, okay, she did say that she plans on going live tonight with Shanita, okay, after the show. Now, I'm going to be doing a live watch party of the show over on Patreon tonight. And I also will pull up Shanita and Sunny's live to see what they're talking about, see if there's some things we're interested in watching over there. And then, of course, we will let everybody come up to talk on the panel about what's been going on on YouTube and off of YouTube. But let's go on. So look, I'm telling you that. So go ahead over there and subscribe to the Patreon real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So you don't miss out tonight. The Patreon link is in any one of the descriptions of my videos, okay, including this one. So go get that link so you can come and join us and we can go over there and talk. We call the Patreon for the new members, the queen. Then we can go over there and talk in private. Okay. Destiny's receipts are actually receipting. Everybody like, look at Moses, look at Moses. I'm looking like that's a man. And see, that's the damn problem. I still say, look at Moses because Moses was the one that was in a relationship or, oh, I'm sorry, that was in a spin chip with Dusty. And so I get it. The girls want to be mad at Sonny, but this is pigmisha behavior, okay? To me, you want to be upset with Sonny. Dusty is more upset with Sonny than she is with Moses. Here's another thought. I wanted to, I want to know why, Messy King, why don't you get Sonny, Moses, and Dusty together? You know, you like you like to stir up confusion. Why won't you won't you just let them sit down and talk together? I guess maybe that's what they're gonna do in a reunion, maybe. Maybe that's what you're waiting for. Because all this back and forth, and he say she say child, which is to me tiresome. The storyline needs to be let go, but I understand this is a show, so you want the storylines to pay to play out, especially since you're desperate, you know your numbers are so low. However, I just feel like Sonny and Moses is constantly going at I mean Sonny and um Dusty is constantly going at it. But Moses is the person that's sitting on the sideline and he had uh the other part of this. But let's go on. I don't expect you no know, for real. But Sonny, you I'm looking at you like why you wanted him? Why you wanted that in you? Because you knew that was in destiny. And for that, that's what I can't get jiggy with. Now hold on. So you mean to tell me that you think that Sonny wanted Moses because Moses had put that in Dusty? It, it, see, y'all women don't know what the hell to say out y'all mouth. Well, um, I don't see you saying nothing to Trish about her situation, okay? Which looks worse because Trish is going from one person to the other person. She's not divorced. And Moses left Dustyana and he went over there with Sonny and he did marry Sonny. And that's the difference. But since you are Dusty's friend, I guess you want to make it seem like it's something that is not. And who really cares about what you think, Stormisha? Why don't you go and think about those loss that lawsuit you got over there with Cal? Okay, you know, the White Walker that you were bragging on at first and now he's coming to snatch. He's coming to snatch your damn business from you. I think you should mind your business. Why are you not talking about your situation? Okay. Mm, child. Oh, that's right. They take this before. Well, you, that's why you ran off the show. We know that. We know that you knew what was coming down the pike with Kyle. But let's go on. I repeat this out. When you was with Moses, oh were you talking to destiny at all? No. So nobody has anything to say about that, huh? Sonny said, no, I was not talking to Dustyana. Okay. It was over and done. Whatever she thought it was, I was not talking to her anymore. And look at Dusty. She's looking really stupid in the face because she has nothing to say about that because she knows Sonny was not talking to her anymore. But of course, she's going to say something, child. Let's listen to the nonsense because she's always got an excuse for everything. But her face tells it all. Her face is like, um, okay, well, I guess I can't say nothing about that. Okay, she did cut me off. 
the timeline don't make sense to me. Well, it don't have to make sense. It does. Sonny said, well, it ain't got to make sense. Sonny said, girl, I'm not thinking about you. Okay, he's my husband now. So if it don't make sense, it don't make sense. Okay. And I mean, really, what is it that that Dusty is expecting for Sonny to do? This is where, you know, for me, it's like, I get it again. They want to run this storyline. They want to see the women fight. But Dusty looks very desperate, okay? Here's the other thing. I remember when Dusty didn't want to tell her story about LeBaric because she was concerned about her son law, right? She was concerned about what her son would see and hear when he got older. Well, Dusty, what happened to your son? You're not concerned about your son seeing that you come on the show and you talked about being with a man for 15 years that was spinning blocks with him that you and his father was breaking up off and on and you was dealing with this guy that is rumors out there about all kinds of things in reference to you and this guy you're not going to you're not concerned that your son might end up you know growing up and finding out that your ex was naming a bit your ex um play partner was naming a business or you and him had decided to name some business again about, I'm sorry, you and him decided to name his business after your son and a potential child. You're not concerned about law seeing any of these things in reference to his mother. You're not concerned about that, but you was concerned supposedly, you know, you love your son so much. You was concerned about the things that you were going to say about his dad. And he might find out, but then you go and say the things that you was not going to say about his father. You started saying it so much so that you even created a YouTube channel and started talking about or alluding to that. You went through DV alluding. I didn't say you was okay. This is all allegedly, and this is my opinion for entertainment purposes. It sounds like to me, listening, that you were saying that DV has something to do with his father. So are you concerned about your son or no? That's what I'd like to know. This is how we know that you are uh, self-serving, hypocritical, and your stories just don't add up because see, you forget about the things that you say out your mouth. You're doing something to me that looks horrible. And especially when it comes to a child and a male child to ever run across this information and what it appeared to be his mother was, you know, because people are rumored to say, just like Melody said, I ain't think about them three old foes on the show. You're not concerned about your son, Dusty? Not anymore. What happened? No concern for your son. Hmm. Things that make you say, hmm. Can I ask a question? What month did y'all get married? December. What, what, December what? Ninth. So that means 90 days from there would have been September 9th is when y'all started dating. Mm -hmm. All right. So Where September 9th, y'all in a relationship. August. What was your last text about the hey baby? What was that? The all the way up until October, October was the last the time we communicated. October. Yeah. And y'all were together in August. So it looks like this situation with the three of them was overlapping. But again, what is it that Dusty is expecting for Sonny to say? Do she want Sonny to apologize? Do she want Sonny to say? Our relationship or in the relationship that was in your mind is more important than the relationship with my now husband and I'm going to leave him. What do you want? Are you trying to have Sonny have doubts in her mind that she's going to go home now and argue with her husband and potentially cause a problem between her and her husband, which I don't think is going to work. Okay. Because Sonny will defend Moses down. Okay. She would defend him, honey. She's a ride or die for real. So I don't know what it is that you're expecting to accomplish, other than the fact that you just looking desperate for a man that looks like he didn't really want you. It looks like he was playing with you. You were a play toy. And if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn you said you broke it off with him. So if you broke it off with him, why are you so concerned? Why, why are you dragging us into the ground? Okay. Why? Well, let's go on and look at the next clip. Hold on. Let me pull up the next clip. Okay. I'm not going to keep clearing up stuff with you. Long story short, Destiny, I did not consider you my friend. That's fine. Damn, that's all I've been waiting on. Really like, and, what is... And, and
That's fine. Okay, so move on, Dusty. And Nell says, that's all I've been waiting on. Nell, we don't care what you was waiting on, honey, at all. We care nothing about what you was waiting on because in my opinion, you ain't no kind of damn friend anyway. You ain't even friend to the person that you claim to be friends with, Melody, that you stayed up with nights and days and on the phone and crying and Melody listening to your woes and you listening to hers and y'all supposed to be besties. We don't really give a damn what come out of your mouth, Nell Leisha. Why are you concerned? Because if I'm not mistaken, hell, Martel said you was a side piece too. So how in the hell are you going to talk about Sonny and, and Sonny uh, talking to Moses? At least he wasn't in no relationship. He was just dating, you know, different women. And Sonny happened to be in the different women, women category until he decided to marry her. But now, Alicia, according to your best friend, your brother, okay, I, I swear, I don't know what kind of brother and sisters these people are supposed to be. Because I can't imagine my brothers or cousins saying things about me that these people have said on TV. But according to your brother Martel, he said that you or that you were a side chick. That's what he said. Okay. He said it and he kept saying it. And then he eventually apologized after he told the world several times. So now, Alicia, we don't care about what you want. Okay. Worry about what's going on over there in your household. But let's go on. And you it's really clear because we're sharing, we sharing, sharing all the way Now, why she say we share dang a lane? Why, why in the hell would she say out of that out of her mouth? Just nasty and disgusting. So you're upset because Sonny's not concerned. You want Sonny to be upset so Sonny can go home and argue with Moses, right? Sonny's not going to do that. And you being so hyped about this situation and be so upset about it just tells us, I think you still want Moses. You talking about who, who you could sleep with if you wanted to. Um, I don't know about them wanting you because you acting real desperate right about now. Child, if it's for the show, you are working for this money, okay? She works hard for the money. Girl, you working real hard for this money, making yourself look like a total and complete damn fool. You're not worried about your son. You're not worried about him over there watching his mother talking about some she shared dangling. Okay. She shared the dang dang with another woman. You are not worried about that, Dusty. You got a whole child out here. What if you have children in the future? You're not worried about your children seeing none of this, huh? Oh, child, the hypocritical lying things that these people say out their mouth. I thought you were so concerned about your son. When you start being concerned, when your bank account got low, low, low to the flow, when did you stop being concerned about your son? I know LeBerg is probably sitting back like, I am so glad I got rid of this demon. I am so glad that I am not attached to this woman anymore. If he watched this show, and if he don't, I'm sure there's people in his family that do. They probably telling him about this mess here, and he's probably on his knees, child. He probably get on his knees and thank God that he got rid of you, and he don't have no dealings with you no more. Mm. Look at her, child. Friends don't share dinglings. So that's that's we clear. don't share no dingling. It was you don't have that no more. But we shared because you had it after me, boo. But it don't matter. They, you all weren't friends. That's the point. Sonny says she was never your friend. Why do you keep claiming people that don't want you, Dusty? Why? Okay. Why do you keep claiming these people? Melody don't want you. Sonny don't want you. Moses don't want you. LeBerg don't want you. Why do you keep trying to claim people who don't want you? Let me tell you how this supposed to work. If you don't like me, I don't like you. If you don't want me, I don't want you. If you don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to you. If you don't want to be friends with me, I don't want to be friends with you. Hell, I probably do all that before the other person do it anyway. But I'm just saying, you're supposed to claim, especially with other people around, that you're not desperate and impressed. Why are you talking about being friends? This girl said she was not your friend. That's what she said. But anyway, let's go on. She's so upset. Look at her. She is so upset mm, and just embarrassing herself. I get secondhand embarrassment watching this nonsense. Like I said, go get yourself some serious help and figure out why you can't let this go. One or two things. Either, you know, in my opinion, you need to really be talking to somebody other than that lady to keep showing up on your page. Or, honey, you're just doing it for the show. And if you're doing it for the show and for this money, you got to be desperate. 
because you have a son who will eventually, and I shouldn't say who will, but who might eventually see this. Not a good look. Not a good look, Dusty. I told you everywhere Dusty goes, she just blow dust all on everybody. You just have to wipe yourself off to get her Dusty behind up off of you. She just blow the wind like the wind blow and dust just goes all over the place. This is what a Dusty desperate person acts like. I have the ring. So yes, saying, you got the hardware, but I got the heartstrings because he keeps talking about me all over. Oh, you got the hardware and hardware and I got his heart strings because he keeps talking about me. Now, last time I checked, okay, the people on the show was bringing you up, you know, like your brother, Martel. He keeps bringing up the situation, okay? And the guys is bringing this up. So I, I don't know where, unless I miss something, okay? He's all over Huntsville talking about you to who, Dusty? Give us some names. We need some names, some pictures, addresses, something. Because here you go again, in my opinion, I just feel like there's no evidence other than what's coming out your mouth. And child, we know you don't be telling the truth about some things. I'm just saying, in my opinion. Okay, you, you don't be always telling the truth about things. So I'm not believing that. But that was good though. You got the hardware and I got his hard string sound good, girl. But um it missed the mark. It didn't it missed the mark. Because why would you say a man has your heart you have his heart strings and he goes and marries another woman in 90 days? Y'all see how dramatic that was? Mm-hmm. 90 days and he been knowing you for 15 one five years and he's not married to you he didn't marry you okay y'all supposed to be good friends and y'all could always run back to each other and talk to each other he understood you and you understood him that's what you told us do you remember i remember one of the clips what was it when we saw him and he was brushing her hair. Y'all remember that? And she did a, a interview. I can't remember who it was with. And she said he was the one. Remember that? She said he was the one. I guess not, girl. I guess you was not getting any of the signals. You was not, you know, 15 years, honey. That's enough of a red flag. That's red flags fa flashing all over the place. 15 years. And he went and married Sonny in three months. That got to hurt. It got to hurt. I almost feel sorry for you, but I don't because you're so nasty. I don't feel sorry for you. Huntsville. Girl, please. Just what do you want? What do you yeah, want? What do you I just want them to leave me the hell alone. Be real about what happened and how it transpired and let then let's close it up. Okay, so got it. Now, Nell for once did ask a good question and Nell is over there like, oh my God, I can't believe this. This is going on too much. Like, what do you want? What do you want, Dusty? And she said she want them to leave her alone. I guess she don't want nobody talking about her, even though you're on a reality show, okay? And they keep being brought up by other people. Go tell your friend, hotel, don't talk about it. And your little girlfriends, Tisha and Kimmy and Stormy, tell all of them to stop talking about it. You don't want nobody to talk about it because it's your people that keep bringing it up, okay? And then you want Sonny to admit about how it happened. She is telling you her version of how it happened. But, oh, you want her to say what you want her to say. Like how you do with Melody, how you did with Melody when y'all had that meeting. You had your version of the story. Mel had her version of the story. Mel had receipts. You didn't have nothing. So you want her to say what you want her to say, and then we can close it up. Girl, who are you to, to think that you can dictate when something get closed and when something don't get closed? So I guess you're going to keep running this storyline. And every time you get around these people, what? Y'all going to get in an argument. You can get an argument. Sonny, now, call Lucifer. Let me tell you something. We sick of this sorry ass storyline, okay? All these whole stories that you done brought on here, they not hitting on nothing. They're not. All they do is make the women over here look desperate. Dusty. Okay, Trisha, and they Trisha, Trish, what up? Y'all know who I'm talking about. All it's doing is making you women look desperate. 
and have the men looking like they are the prize. You see how Carlos do that? Carlos got y'all fighting with each other over men, looking like you desperate, looking like these men are everything, they the prize and all that. Now, honey, I don't think either one of these men are a prize. I'm going to be straight up with you. You know, yes, honey, Mary, Moses, but child, the way he did things and the way, you know, things transpire, I don't, that's not, that's not giving me prize. Okay. Maybe he'll be a prize for Sonny. You know, hopefully he'll treat his wife, you know, like she is everything to him. That's what I'm hoping for them. But when it comes to Trish and Ken, mm -mm, they still ain't married. And Trish still and Ken still over there laid up with a married woman. So it's making you women look very desperate for a man. And it's making the men look like they are everything and they are the prize. You see how Carlos keeps setting you dumbass women up? You see what he's he's doing? He got y'all running around in circles, okay? The same way he got y'all kissing his arse and doing whatever he wants y'all to do and got y'all on his show looking like damn fools. He has you looking like damn fools for the men too. Mm -hmm. Making you look dumb and desperate to be on this show and making you look dumb and desperate for the men that you want to be with so badly. You women ain't got no damn sense. You don't. But let's go on. Let's be real. You can say that. You have your opinions. I, I, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm married. We're in this relationship. I hope that she's able to move on and get the I healing am. that she needs. She's not going to be able to move on. She said, I am. No, you're not. She's not going to be able to move on. How much y'all want to bet when it come back on next season? Because this is supposed to be the last episode coming up. How much y'all want to bet that they're going to come back with the same mess? It's going to be the same stuff all over again. Okay. We'll see. We'll we'll definitely see. That's if they get another season. Cause honey, them numbers was not looking good. So we don't know what's going to happen. A bunch of lawsuits, child numbers falling to the ground. We don't know what's going to happen. The show might not come back on. Melody over there. Melody is over there on TikTok, telling all the business. Okay, wearing all of them out. We don't know what's about to happen. But assuming that it does come back on for another season. Dusty is going to come back with the same story Because what is she going to talk about What is she going to talk about y'all Somebody tell me in the comments What could Dusty talk about She don't have no business Okay She can't talk about Eric, her life What is she going to do Bring a man on the show What is Dusty going to do What you going to do Talk about Mel And how Mel don't want to be your friend You you extending that storyline too Now you didn't turn it into Mel If you want to sleep with Mel You can sleep with Mel Again Not thinking about your child Talking about how you could sleep with Martell and Melody if you wanted to. Now, you're going to take your child around Martell because he's supposed to be your brother. Okay, so your son's uncle. And you're going to have your child around a man that you say you could sleep with. And then what? I should hope not. And then he grows up and he sees this nastiness that you're saying out your mouth. Dusty, you're not thinking about your child at all. In my opinion, because if I was your damn child, I would be so embarrassed. I'd be like, well, I can't believe you went on TV and said this kind of crap and was over here spending blocks with a man for 15 years. I would be asking questions. When did you get with my daddy? And when did this man come in the picture? And how long was you with that man? Child be asking all kinds of questions if it was me. Have, have any of you ladies grown up and all the things that you had questions about? You start asking your parents. Mm -hmm. I went through a couple of years of that, asking my mother and father all kinds of questions about things that I had been wondering about for years. Mm -hmm. Show did. Mm -hmm. It's a couple of things I ain't like. So, you know, I had, I had to give a little word or two about some things that I had questions about that I ain't like. And I, and I made it clear that I didn't like it. It hurt some feelings. But they were okay, you know, still love my parents regardless. It wasn't nothing that hurtful that I couldn't get over. It wasn't actually hurt, hurtful, just a couple little lies that was told to me, child. Oh, but I let them know that I didn't like it. But anyway, let's go on. Fine, man. And everybody been can have. <laughs> have so she says she has a fine man and she been moved on. You let move on with you sitting at the table with this lady confronting her again. Talking about, you know, you and her shared dangalangs, okay? How did you move on? That's what I mean. Contradiction, hypocritical, liar, the truth ain't in you. We just saw, saw, saw you have a whole fit about the situation. And you started to get angry about it. But you say you got a fine man and you been moved on. 
Okay, Dusty. We don't believe it. Happy and, and healthy. I'm not going to keep clearing up stuff with you. Long now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here again. If you all see this video, you got time. It's like, what, 548. So you still have time to go ahead and join the Patreon. It will be in the link of the description. Uh, what would be, I'm talking backwards. It will be in the description of this video. The link will be down there. And you can check any one of my videos and get it from there as well. Please don't go over to Patreon and try to find me yourself because there's an imposter page over there, like over there on TikTok, child. I don't know what crazy person creating these imposter pages. Okay. But that ain't me. So please join Patreon from my link to make sure you are on the correct Patreon account. Okay. So come and join us. You still got time. We're going to, again, watch the show live. So you won't have to watch it from your TV. You will see it from my TV. Hold on. Let me grab my phone, making all that noise. That's my, my ring camera. You'll be able to watch it with us from my TV. I mean, not, not yeah, from my TV, but it'll be on the screen. Okay. And then we'll do our commentary about it. And if Shanita and Sonny come on, we'll be able to watch that as well. Okay. As long as it's interesting, because if it's boring, child, I'm not going to watch. But anyway, thank you all for watching. You know, thank you for supporting. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Please like the video and please share the video. Please go down in the comments below and give me your, you know, your thoughts and opinions about what you just saw. Okay. And I will be coming back with another video soon. Bye, family.